Okay, uh, we're going to scrimmage uh, out at about 10.30 tomorrow, but uh, we'll start scrimmaging about 11 o'clock, so the uh, it'll be open in the stadium. Uh, should be a pretty day and so forth. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Guys uh, had Letterman's weekend this week, so good to see all the Letterman down and so forth. But the guys are, are doing pretty well, and we look forward to the scrimmage tomorrow. And, uh, and go from there. We'll let a lot of the young guys do most of the playing. And uh, should be good. Hopefully we'll get a good crowd out there, okay? We'll still Justice kind of here. Justice should be back. Uh, he's got a little sore on his back, but he won't scrimmage tomorrow. He won't scrimmage tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, the concert? You talked about Ronald Patrick having a serious eye infection. How serious yeah, is Yeah, Ronald is had some surgery yesterday, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be enough to get him straightened out, but he had uh, an abscess uh, behind the eyeball that they hope they've, uh, they've, they've got it, and, uh, and he's on the road to recover. So we had a prayer for Ronald Patrick. Anytime they go into your head, uh, you know, near your brain or whatever, it is serious business. So hopefully everything's going to turn out, but he'll, he, he will miss the rest of the spring in all likelihood. Do you have any reaction to all the stuff about uh, Clowney being on the, on the internet now, about being stopped last Coach, night? Can I see huh? set, please? Yeah. You sure? Yes, film, film that. Film that. Yeah. Oh, he's being arrested. Holy shit, he's being arrested. I believe this is for show. Sure. This is why we're all called sure. here. I think this is for show. Sure. All right, just keep rolling. Yeah. Here you go. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Go, go, go. You shot a level shot of handcuffs? Yep. You're not going to let you get up there. I hope he can't find the keys. Please don't find the keys. Yeah, please don't find the keys. Please don't find the keys. Should we start collecting bail money? Oh my god. Can I see it? Shit, shit. Yeah, we got that out of the way. <laughs> 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 said somebody robbed the convenience store down here. One of the witnesses said it looked like the head ball coach in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. So I had to tell him I didn't leave practice all day today. And uh, so he's okay. And uh, Jadavion Clowney, the story that we found out is that last night he should not have been around town at 2 in the morning. Uh, but he was with some teammates, Gerald Dixon, and uh, they were at five points. And uh, there was a robbery downtown, and uh, allegedly somebody said uh, the guy that was robbing uh, was a tall guy that was a lot like Jadavion. And so they went in and questioned him, didn't know who he was, and they cuffed him up, just like I just got cuffed up. <laughs> and after Chief knew that I did not rob that convenience store down the road. Uh, he let me go, and last night they let Jadavion go. Uh, but a lot of people would probably get upset getting handcuffed, but the police have a tough job to do. And they don't know who's got a gun that's gonna shoot them or not. So a lot of times uh, they will put a handcuff on the person and uh, ask a few questions and then uncuff him, and that's the end of it. So Jadavion was not arrested. Mistaken identity, and uh, he was let go very soon after they asked him a few questions. Coach, have you so spoken? hopefully the moral of the story. Yeah, I've talked to Jimmy hey, was he, today. Was he shook out? Today. Was he shook out? He, he didn't seem too upset about it uh, when I talked uh, to him. He told me what happened. He said he let go right after they asked him a few questions, and uh, and I think you know we got to understand police have a job to do. They don't know who has a gun, who doesn't. So. So it's not embarrassing to be handcuffed. That's what I'm trying to say. Ricky, you've been cuffed up before, ain't you? Uh, well, I, I don't want to talk about that. Hey, but Steve, I know in the past you, um, you, you said that you weren't going to make five points off limits to your guys. Um, are you thinking about reconsidering no, that? No, no. That was, like I said, that was a mistake in the day. You know, I asked him, Genevion, you weren't down there drinking, being loud, making a disturbance. He said, Coach, I don't even drink. I don't drink. He's not even drinking. I mean, he said he went down there with some guys. And, uh, now, I wish he hadn't gone, and hopefully he's going to learn not to go down there real soon. Uh, but, you know, I, 
they keep walking in two or three bars and all the fans start chanting clowny clowny <laughs> again and, and hopefully he'll get tired of everybody saying clowny and hopefully out there in that stadium is the next time people are going to start chanting clowny clowny next time I hope to hear that. Did you speak by his family at all, Coach? I talked to him personally, and he told me what happened, and I said, well, we will try to handle it the best we can here, and we did. And, of course, you know, you get a, a picture of him on the Internet. You know, what did he do? What did he do? He's arrested. He's, he's going into the, into the job, uh, but it wasn't the case. And so, anyway, hopefully uh, all the Gamecocks, uh, you know, we all can learn that a person can get handcuffed, and the police are just doing their job. And uh, it's no big deal. So now, if they take you downtown and keep you two or three days, that would be some, <laughs> got some issues, right, Chief? But uh, anyway, that's what happened. Was he actually inside of the bars or just outside with friends? He was. He was inside. He was inside. Do you know if there were 18 and up bars or 21 and up? You know, I don't know all the rules. If you can get in, I know you cannot drink if you're under, <coughs> you know, under 21, under. Uh, under 21, but I don't know if they let some in, but they don't serve them. I don't know all the rules. I don't, I don't hang out with them. What are the rules on that, Chief? Can they can they get into a bar if they're under 21? No, he, he on this particular bar, he should not have been able to get in the bar. Um, I spoke to the bar a few minutes ago. Uh, the, the dual man was terminated from that position, but I want to make it clear um, that he did nothing wrong. Um, he was was detained because of that. He was not drinking. He was not consuming any alcohol. Um, so I just wanted to be clear that he has done nothing wrong, and hopefully we'll see him on this USC football field. Your officers behaved the way you would want them to? They, they acted appropriately. Um, we have a responsibility to make sure everyone is safe, and when we get a call about a, a robbery or a description, we have to act up on it. We can't just ignore it. But again, I just wanted to be clear he didn't do anything wrong. It's like I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> whatever you well, have. Maybe whatever you have. Whatever you have. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.